This video is going to review properties of waves. This video is going to review the properties of waves that you have already read about in the textbook on pages 290 through 301. You should be sure that the following notes are in your science notebook. The textbook explains that a wave is a repeating disturbance that is going to transfer energy through matter or space. And the key thing to remember is that a wave transfers energy. Waves can be as simple as throwing a pebble into a pond. The resulting rings that appear in the pond are waves, the energy created by the motion of the pebble going into the water. It moves outward and it transfers that energy in all directions. So waves carry energy. And waves can do this without transporting matter from place to place. But if you're at the beach and you see a wave crashing onto the beach, you may think that the waves are bringing all this material onto the beach. Well, that situation is a little bit different because of the nature of wind and the currents in the water. Uh, but waves themselves do not transport matter, which is the water or the things floating in the water. And of course, we're talking about other kinds of waves too during the course of this unit. They could be light waves, sound waves. This image is from the textbook. It helps to explain how energy can move through a wave. A wave will exist only as long as it has energy to carry. Now some waves are described as mechanical waves. And those kinds of waves need a medium, which is some type of matter in which they need to move through. Now, we've discussed different types of matter in class. In previous units, we talked about liquids and gases as a fluid. And we can definitely see how water produces waves, especially at the ocean. Um, sometimes we can think of waves moving through a solid. Um, you may have learned about earthquakes. We know that those contain waves as well. And those waves are going through a solid. And there are other kinds of waves that do not need a medium. Electromagnetic waves do not need a medium. We call them EM for short. And they include things such as visible light. Think about it. Light can come from the sun, travel across the vast expanse of space where there is a vacuum, which means there is no medium, no solids, liquids, or gases. Yet those waves can travel through the vacuum and reach us here on Earth. The book continues to talk about transverse waves. Those are waves that can move up and down, sort of perpendicular to the wave direction. So these are like the waves that you would see at the ocean. If you had a buoy in the middle of the water, it would move up and down compared to the direction that the wave would be traveling. Compare that to compression waves, waves that move horizontally. Um, and this is what we see with sound. Sound waves operate in a way that they are compressions. And sort of like a slinky or a spring, there can be areas where they are compressed together and areas where they are pulled apart. And with these kinds of waves, um, we look at it in terms of rarefaction and compression. Where you see their spring is close together, that's compression. And where they are further apart, that's rarefaction. 